So let's have a look at translating parabolas. So this is the most basic parabola and it has the basic formula of ax squared and a can be positive or negative. In this case it's positive because it's a smiling face. But now just with that considered, let's say we are going to move it to a new turning point, three units to the right and two units down. Okay three units right, two units down, I can draw it more or less, although that's not what I want to focus on, not the drawing, I want to focus on the formula. So my new function, let's call it gx. Now gx has the same shape as f of x, so he is somehow dependent on f of x, but um, we did move it to the right with three units so x takes longer to take effect okay we used to turn already when x was zero now we're only turning when x is three so we have to subtract with three units to make it slower okay and also each y value is now less for example here at the turning point my y value used to be 0 now my y value is negative 2 so every y value which is what gx represents gets subtracted with 2 so let's just go and substitute f of x and everywhere where there's an x I must write x minus 3 so it's a instead of x I must put x minus 3 that is all being squared minus 2 and there is the function formula for g of x. Okay, how about if g of x, let's just choose a different color. Okay, how about if g of x was translated four units right? five units up okay what would our new function be well let's call that one h h of x is g equal to g of x but g of x is moved three units or uh, four units to the right so in other words things are happening sooner so it's coming four units this way things are happening sooner that means I must add to make things happen sooner so I add four units to the right and five units up which means every y value will get five extra values or uh, units so plus five so what was g of x well g of x was a and instead of the x I must place uh, x plus four so in that place I'm going to put x plus 4 x plus 4 okay minus the 3 squared minus 2 that's just for g of x so I just replaced g of x and in the place of x I replaced the x plus 4 now I still need to add the 5 outside and now I can just simplify. I see the inside of that bracket simplifies to plus 4 minus 3 will give me plus 1. x plus 1 squared minus 2 plus 5 will give me plus 3. Now how does this one and my original one, my f of x relate? Well we can see that instead of x we have a x plus 1 which means things are happening sooner which means it moved to the left okay one unit to the left so one unit to the left and then it also moved three units up so three units up and there we go that would be my new turning point and if I were to draw it, it would go up there I don't have space go up there but with a turning point of negative 1 and positive 3 cool let's look at the hyperbola so this is the shape of the basic positive hyperbola 
Okay, and we can see we have two asymptotes here. Asymptote being a line that the graph approaches but never reaches. A vertical one and a horizontal one. So what happens if this thing gets moved? Let's move it one unit to the left or one unit to the right rather and two units up. So my asymptote moves one unit and then two units up. So that's my other asymptote and now my new function gets drawn with those new asymptotes. What is the function formula for that new asymptote? Well, if we call it GX, I see the GX is dependent on f of x, so we use f of x to find it. It moved one unit to the right which means things are going to happen slower. It doesn't. I don't reach that point as soon, so I must subtract to make it go slower. So x gets subtracted with one unit, but it does get added two units. So every y value increases with two, so that every y value or output gets added another two. What is f of x? Well, f of x was one over x. But instead of x, I must replace x with x minus 1. So this one must be replaced with x minus 1. So I'm replacing that one. And then just plus 2. And there we go. That is the function formula for g of x, which is f of x moved like that. How about if they give me now a function? I have to go and draw it. Okay, so let's say they give me h of x. And they tell me that h of x is, let's say, 1 over x minus 2 minus 4. Okay, I have to go and draw that one. So let's just draw a quick set of axes. Okay, and just lightly, let's just see what would the, the normal 1 over x have looked like. Okay, that's the basic one. That one would just have looked like that very lightly just draw that in okay but now we see what's happening to this one first of all instead of just having x in the denominator we have x minus 2 which means things are happening slower that means it's moving to the right with, to the right with two units and so my new asymptote is there okay my vertical asymptote also every y value gets subtracted with 4 so my vertical asym uh, sorry horizontal asymptote moves down with four units let's say it's more or less there down with four units there we go and then we would draw in our new function would now be drawn between those lines okay and I need to go down a bit more one more here just continue this we go. <laughs> okay, my axis is a bit small for this whole business, but I think you get the point. It's not so difficult. And I think you'll just do fine if you try it on your own.